So we made it here to Cleveland, all good news. One week of traveling um, all over Canada pretty much, at least in the eastern portion, up to Quebec City, down back through Montreal, Toronto, the uh, border with Detroit a little bit, and then some time in Detroit before we came back here to Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, so whilst we're here in Cleveland, why not, I thought, check out a few of the local chargers, see what the infrastructure looks like. As I said earlier, it's uh, a lot of EVgo around here, a lot of Walmart EVgo locations, but uh, Electrify America's jumped in with places in uh, Sheffield, Crossing, Ohio, Mentor, a few different places along the Turnpike, so that's starting to look good. So one thing I wanted to take a look at, Cleveland is full of EVgo um, location single stall EVgo 50 kilowatt units in the uh, mostly in the suburbs but a couple downtown we're in Strongsville here not having much luck EV go okay so there we go so it's just right on the corner here there are um, three J1772 plugs and the single um, charging station combo Chatamo and CCS all available so they say let's go and take a look and see what the reality on the ground is so I noticed the check-in at this location on Plugshare the other day that was a uh, visitor in town moaning about the lack of uh, availability here. So you can see the J1772 plugs there are all blocked up. Looks like they've kept the main charger free here, which is positive. Yep, both spots of those are free, although plenty of spots around here are. But this uh, J1772 row of plugs around the corner, not so much. These are prime parking spots, shows you why it's not such a great idea to have them close to the, uh, the store. Unless that's a Honda Clarity, you know. Nope. Not plugged in, so there you go. There's still a couple of spaces you could still plug in if you wanted to, but that would, uh, on a busier time, I'm sure that would all be blocked up. And I've seen the other DC fast charger blocked up as well, but this time, too bad but it's a more common problem around here we've seen that ever way in Boston as people and you know other EV friendly places as people start to realize what they're blocking they tend to think it's more just convenience and not really knowing what those stations are for uh, them and a slightly odd one charge point just popped up with one uh, not a whole lot around here Maybe some level twos, but not much in the way of DC fast charging. Uh, but they popped up with one right off I-90. So I'm gonna go and take a look at that now. It's free in the city of Lakewood, which uh, I'm always unsure why they don't add a little fee on these things, but maybe it's an introductory period. We'll uh, hop over there, take a look, and see if it works. Onward. So you can see the location here, it's bang off I-90, there's no distance at all, that's as much of a, it's basically a rest stop if it wasn't in a city. So we're to the west of Cleveland here in Lakewood, Ohio, and it's, if you're passing through, I mean this is, this is probably easier than the Electrify America site isn't even, it's uh, right off here. The, I think the Sheffield Crossing Electrify America went in somewhere around here. The Mentor Ohio is right here. That's where the Electrify America went in there. So you've got a bunch of different options around here now. This is the first charge point I've seen, and it's one of these newer ones, or at least the first charge point, obviously, in um, 
Cleveland in terms of DC fast charging. So that's pretty cool. I like the uh, the look of this one. It is only 50 kilowatts. Um, I'm betting it's a, a 125 amp because this is a brand new machine. I can't imagine they'll have stuck one of the older um, 100 amps in. So let's get it started up, see what we get. There you go, you've got your touch screen, 50 kilowatt confirmation price free. Good or bad? I'll let you be the judge. The fact that there aren't too many EVs in Ohio or this area yet is probably means it's going to be okay, but I bet it will be tied up otherwise. We've learnt that from California and more recently Massachusetts. Okay, so a bunch of stuff here. Basically, we just want to get it started. So, charge point card. Here we go. Plug in. Will do. You've got your Chadamo right there. CCS, nice futuristic looking plugs. Okay, let's figure it out. Familiar charge point graphics. And starts up right away. Starting at 32% state of charge. Ramping right up to its 44 kilowatt on the machine. I would bet that's more like. Well, let's see what it reaches on the machine first. A little more like 42, 43 in car. There's pretty clear signage, I like that. It was green when we arrived, blue now. It's clear if it's in use or not. And there's just not a lot around here. <laughs> if this place was busy, I guess this could be in danger of being iced, but you're not stopping here for anything else. So, let's see what the car says. there thinks it's delivering 44.4 kilowatts the car says it's taking 40 kilowatts so there you go we started at 32 percent now have a quick look around the area see if there's anything of interest anyway you might go and grab a coffee or if this is a place you're going to be kicking about with your car and not a lot else so this is a pleasant little spot a decent little route down there with plenty of cafes and bars so if you were that way inclined you could wander grab a coffee and kind of entertain yourself whilst you charge it's uh, probably a student area but then back down here this is facing in the direction of the charger it's all residential so you have to walk five ten minutes to find anything Back to the car. So yeah, not not what you would call busy, but there's the interstate exit, and there's your charger. So that's probably a good thing. Well, that wasn't intentional, but we are at one minute to eighty percent. So. to 23 kilowatts, not surprising. There you go, battery will fully charge. Finalizing, we're at 80% on here. The unit still believes it's 79%. What happens when it hits 80%? Absolutely nothing. Okay, well, we definitely appreciate the free juice 
Lakewood seems to be a pleasant place if you're willing to walk five or ten minutes from this rather barren area then you can get to coffee shops pubs restaurants all kinds of stuff and then get refreshed and get back on the road which is right there handy you can use the charge point app to stop a charge it's probably actually my favorite app because it gives you this nice power graph so you see when you're tapering dropping off if there's any problems with the charge that kind of thing you can reserve spots in here check if the site is available all kinds of stuff and let's see if the stop charge works yep that'll do it not charging machine stopped at the same time and there you go half the battery more than half the battery for zero dollars thank you Lakewood these are good this it's much more secure than some you'll find. Chatamo's below it. Now lighting green to show you it's available. And there we go. Another successful session.